This video introduces you to how you can use rules in web forms when you design a form. When you use rules designing a form, you can then have control over how a form is filled out. The instructions in this video assume that you are proficient in the basics of web forms form design. If you aren't proficient in form design basics, watch the introductory video called Web Forms Designing a Form. There are three kinds of rules you can use in your form. The first kind of rule is validation. A validation rule forces someone to fill out a field in a form in a certain way. Say for example, your form has a field like this one, asking for someone's email address. You can make it required to enter a valid email address. First, select the field you want to add a rule to. Then click Manage Rules. Click New. Choose Validation. Now, before we go further, let's take a moment to think about rules generally. When adding rules, think in terms of if-then statements. In this example, we would think something like, if this field doesn't contain a valid email address, then let the user know the email must be valid. So for this validation rule, we'll give it a condition. Our field email is already selected, then choose does not match pattern choose select a pattern, click email, so if the field email does not match an email pattern then don't let the form be submitted and also display a screen tip saying use the format of name at example.com. Now name the rule. Some forms can have many rules, so as a best practice, get into the habit of naming all the rules you create. It'll make it easier if you need to troubleshoot later. And now when we preview the form, we can see the rule in action. I'll type in an invalid email to illustrate. and when I move the cursor off the field, it turns red. When I hover over the field, the screen tip displays. And now I know what to do. Add.com Before going on to the next rule, there's one other thing to note about rules in general. These red asterisks tell you which fields in the rule you, as the form designer, must fill in. So if you forget to fill in a rules field, a little warning sign displays next to the incomplete rule. Use these warning signs and asterisks to help troubleshoot your forms when you're working with a lot of rules. The second kind of rule is formatting. A formatting rule lets you format fields based on how you set up the rule. Say you have a form that has two fields like these, a checkbox asking whether to include the shipping address and a text box for the shipping address itself. I'm going to set up a rule that will make the shipping address text box be hidden unless the person filling out the form chooses to include the shipping address. So select the field you want to add a rule to. Click Manage Rules. Click New. Choose Formatting. Name it. give it a condition. Remember, think in terms of if-then statements. If the field include shipping address is blank, then hide this control. Now when we preview the form, the shipping address field does not display until the include shipping address checkbox is chosen. The third kind of rule is action. An action rule lets an action happen in a field based upon how the form is filled out. Say you have a form that has three fields like these. I'm going to set up a rule that will calculate the amount of tax if the taxable checkbox is selected. So select the field you want to add a rule to. Click Manage Rules. Click New. Choose Action name it,
give it a condition. Thinking in terms of if then, fill out the condition. So if the field taxable is present, then run this action, the action being set a field's value. The field whose value we want to set is tax amount. And the value is whatever is in the amount field times whatever the tax is. In this example, let's assume a tax of 7.5%. Now when we preview the form, enter an amount, and select the taxable checkbox, the tax is calculated and populated in the tax amount text box. While this video is just an introduction to using rules in your forms, you can take the techniques you learned and expand or modify them in your own forms so you can capture the data you need, how you need it.